Hello everyone and welcome to my special melee combat guide featuring the Warhammer. I know some of you really wanted me to make this one, but I had not used a Warhammer since before the release of the Sorborians DLC, so I had to work a little bit in order to make a proper guide for this weapon. I have made a little playthrough and should you ask for it, I will share my build in another video. It is strong enough to even kill the strongest bosses in the game, so tell me in the comments if you want me to showcase it. The Warhammer is a very well designed weapon, so let's not wait any longer. In this video I will try to teach you how to use the Warhammer. Warhammers are slow, but they deal a lot of damage per hit and a lot of impact damage too. They are not very easy to use, but offer a lot of tools and have a moveset that is incredible. You will see why very fast as we go over the combos. 3 basic hits. One basic hit and one special for a big overhead slam. And then two basic hits and one special for a very strong third hit. You can also use another special attack after the special in any combo for a very slow but powerful hit. The one special combo is a very short range handle hit with high impact. As you can see all the Warhammer combos have a very high forward momentum. You move forward a lot when you attack, allowing you to constantly stay on target when they move back because you stagger them. The Warhammer's moveset is perfectly designed to maximize DPS on enemies that are constantly staggered. The unique skill of the Warhammer is called Juggernaut. It is a very slow but incredibly powerful strike that inflicts confusion. It's also very fun to use as it tends to send enemies flying if you kill them with this move. You can of course get this skill from Burek or from the champion of the lad Sorian in Monsoon. You cannot find a great hammer in Cierzo, so we'll have to buy one from the blacksmith. I would advise anyone who uses a warhammer to go for some heavy armor, at least two pieces. This weapon is very slow and you should never play it if you don't plan on taking a few hits. You can play perfectly and never get hit, but it's way harder on this weapon than on any other. That makes this weapon perfect to learn an underused combat idea, trading. Sometimes it is perfectly fine to face tank a hit if you eliminate a priority target or stagger an enemy. This is perfectly embodied by a characteristic of a unique Warhammer skill I have not mentioned yet. During the channel time, you gain a lot of impact resistance. It is very close to hyper armor for those who are familiar with this concept. This ability expects you to get hit. That does not mean that you have to, just know that it's okay to take a few hits. The recent buffs of the protection stat allow you to not get staggered way more than before, so don't be afraid. That being still said, we still need to get to not get hit too much. When in combat, I advise you to mainly use the one special combo at first. It will allow you to stagger enemies way easier as it is faster than your basic hits and has way more impact. Be careful though, as, it, as its range is very low and you cannot use it after a sprint. Lower your enemy's stability to zero with a few special hits and then try to time your diagonal well so they instantly get staggered when they get up. Learning the timing of Juggernaut, depending on the enemy, is the key to mastering the Warhammer. You can also take a little bit of distance to hit enemies with Juggernaut as they close in, but it does not work as well on enemies that block. Let me leave you with some gameplay to demonstrate. The most emblematic Warhammer is the Great Bunker, the Ultimate Smasher, the Big Bone Crusher, the Pillar Great Hammer. It's a very slow weapon, but it hits pretty hard. It has the highest impact stat in the entire game and advise you to pair it with Wind and Fuse for even more impact 
and a little bit of attack speed. I personally really love the Palladium Great Hammer. Its stats are not that impressive on paper, but the Palladium weapons have very good enchantments. One of the best Warhammers is of course the Manticore Great Mace. You can get this one by crafting, making it pretty easy to get, apart from the Manticore killing thing. The last hammer I want to talk about is the Vigilante Hammer. It has very good impact and decent enough damage, but the interesting part is the extract protection it gives, allowing to face tank more hits without being staggered. Probably one of the best Vigilante weapons in the game. You can get this weapon by putting a Militia Hammer in the Legacy Chest. The Warhammer is a pretty fun weapon to use, but definitely not the easiest one. That being said, when used correctly, it can deal with any enemy in the game. I've said this already, but I would not recommend doing glass cannon builds with, this, with the hammer. This weapon really shines when used with some resistances. I personally use drums in my build to increase my resistances and give me some healing, allowing me to stand my ground very effectively. If you want me to share my build, do not hesitate to tell me in the comments. Thank you all for watching, I hope you found this guide useful. If you did, do not hesitate to subscribe, as more outward videos are coming. I'll see you again. Bye.